Hello folks, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When we last left off, we were doing Arita stuff. Lady, he's a legend in the sport. A 20 year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids, but there's a- Alright, I apologize, I actually skipped through that. Uh, this is going to be post commentary because I died many times <laughs> trying to get through these fights. Um, so I kind of strung them all together. But uh, yeah, for Marl here, I, uh, I think I sort of tried this the first time. But uh, yeah, I, I was gonna basically go with the same strategy, but then I realized, uh, somewhat accidentally as I was trying to run away to heal, that I could actually kite him around the room and just uh, take pot shots at him. Even though I kept trying to heal, because um, I was concerned he would catch up to me, I would always attack first. But then I was like, okay, well, <laughs> well... Um, if that's how it's gonna be, I guess we can do it this way. I got very lucky not to die right there, um, or get KO'd, I guess. But, yeah, so this was my strategy. Marl is a very difficult opponent for us, being a, uh, a ranged specialist of sorts. Um, but yeah, he should go down in a second here, I think. One more? One more. Boom, there we go. Nicely done. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Marl is down and questions abound! Is this the end for the longtime bet? Is it time for Marl to hang up his spurs? And what of the mysterious stranger? Twitch is waiting in the wings! Do you dare take a shot at the champion himself? Will the Wild Eye Wonder finally be unseated? Alrighty, so uh, we should probably go ahead and just talk tomorrow. I believe we talked to everybody, so might as well do him. If we can find him. <laughs> You're good, stranger. Maybe even as good as Bendak in his prime. There's no shame in losing to you. But when you beat me, you made me realize something, kid. First, it was just Twitch I couldn't handle. Now it's you and Twitch. Pretty soon, there'll be another young hotshot clawing past me in the rankings. This game's been good to me, but my time is done. I need to get away from the duel rings for a while, think things over. Goodbye, stranger. I wish you all the best. What a class act. What a class act. All right, next opponent, Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your... Hold on to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic. And he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch. But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise through the ranks. In this corner, the challenger for the title of Taris Dueling Champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Alright, so I, uh, I pre-buffed myself with the energy shield because uh, it's uh, it helps. It helps to have your buffs up ahead of time. And um, I decided I would go ahead and try to get him with uh, some stuns early on here because he does a lot of range damage. He's a better shooter than we are just in general. I think I hit him with a uh, regular grenade. Oh no, a poison grenade. Yeah, okay. I don't know what poison grenades do exactly. I just had one and I was like, I'll, I'll toss, toss one in there for good measure. Um, but yeah, our energy shield is really going to be our, our savior here. That and a, uh, a boatload of med packs. This is, uh, I don't know, this is probably like the second or third time. He wasn't too bad. He wasn't as hard as, um, as hard as I thought he would be. Um, maybe we got a little bit lucky. Uh, but yeah, he, uh, he went down pretty easy. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Twitch's reign of terror is over, ladies and gentlemen. We have a new champion, the Mysterious Stranger. Alrighty, not bad, not bad. A little bit more XP there, and we should go say hello to Twitch, of course. Kyobasa, Kimba Mulirad Wanaji. Not really anything interesting to say. Taris <laughs> Dungeon 
All right, so we have to uh, go find Bendak. Who's here? watching you on the dueling ring. Not bad for an amateur. I'm tempted to come out of retirement and show you what it's like to do battle against a real champion, but I only fight in death matches. And not too many people are willing to step into the ring knowing they won't ever come out. How about you, stranger? You think you got what it takes? Oh, I think we got what it takes. Yes, sir. Finally, fresh meat. Azure will set it up. Go talk to him. It will take some time to arrange, so no point sticking around here until then. I'll be back when it's time for you to die. Yeah, just to be clear, this is, uh, he's just in, like, the first room of the, uh, the cantina there. So, uh, I think we talked to him previously. But, uh, yeah, we'll go talk to Azure. Um... Just to see what he has to say about the situation. So I did the old walk out, walk back in technique. <laughs> I think maybe we should uh, get to the point. Let's do it. Oh. Excuse me, let's not do it. <laughs> that's right, I uh, wanted to, uh, to pre-buff. That's, that's right. Very important, very important. This is uh, actually not the pre-buffing that wins, though. <laughs> now let's do it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by, to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're banned. They've been outlawed for nearly ten years, but we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match! In this corner, a living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive... <laughs> out of retirement for one last battle, Bandic Starkiller! And who would be crazy enough to step into the ring with such a lethal legend? Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wandering eyes on the mysterious stranger. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let the death match begin! All right, so we quickly, we got dark side points for that, by the way, which is interesting. But anyway, uh, yeah, we quickly find out Bendak doesn't exactly play fair. And uh, he has kind of the same idea that I was going to have, except he's uh, a little bit better at it. He throws thermal detonators. That's going to be a problem. So uh, we have to reload. And I said it here. I know you. You're the mysterious stranger, right? Everybody's saying you're gonna fight Bendix Starkiller in an illegal death match. You know, Bendix never lost a match in his life, right? You need to take a look at my weapons and armor. You're not wrong. Because of the Sith quarry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I decided really need to get some uh, some more concussion grenades uh, and some frag grenades to uh, give us a shot, and then also. Went over to the uh, the health store and I bought all of the advanced med packs and I got some adrenal alacrities as well, which are going to give us a dex bonus, uh, possibly better AC. I can't remember if our armor allows it, and definitely better to hit rolls. So, both important. Now then, this time we're going to dodge those fucking thermal detonators. He's got three of them, and uh, then we'll have a lot better time at uh, trying trying to kill him. My first order of business, try to stun him. I actually got lucky on that first one. He's, he makes those saves quite often. But we can safely rapid shot here. 
well he's stunned. Um, if we were scoundrels, we might actually even get sneak attack damage on him, which is actually really good, but we are not. So we gotta make do. But, uh, yeah, he, uh, he's gonna eat through our, our energy shield very, very quickly. As you can see, it's already gone, taking a bunch of damage, trying to get him stunned again, I think. Can't quite see what grenade I'm using in the tiny window that I'm, I'm looking at here. But, uh, there we go, heal back up, and grenade. I think we get him, yeah, we do get him stunned again, so I take advantage of that fully, as best I can. Got him down to about half HP, which is pretty good. This, this fight took me, even with proper items, many tries. <laughs> many tries. Being a higher level would certainly have helped, just more HP, more to hit roll, basically. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're at the point now where we need to use some other grenades. So, yeah, I tried to poison him, he made the save. Unfortunately, it's okay. Not a big deal, we still got some frag grenades to toss at him. We also have some sonic grenades, I'm not even sure what they do. I don't know if I think, I had tried tossing some at him previously, they didn't do shit. <laughs> I don't know if I tried one here or not. But, uh, yeah, we, we're so close, we're so close. I've, in other attempts, I even tried running up to him and, like, dropping a, a mine, a frag mine next to him. But he just gets out of his sword and beats us silly with it, so... I don't recommend it. <laughs> it's not a good idea. We are actually out of... We are out of, uh... Energy shield now, too, which is a very dangerous situation to be in. We're about to be out of advanced med packs, too, I think. Uh, pretty, pretty shortly. Yeah, there we go. That's the last one. So now it's basically just down to guns and how many med packs we have left. So close, though! So close! Ah! Just one more, one more good hit. Can we do it? Oh, oh we've done it. <laughs> Bendak is down. It's over. It's over. The fight is over. Bendak Star Killer is down. Bendak Star Killer is dead. All hail the mysterious stranger, the greatest duelist to ever grace the rings of Terrace. Hey, and there we go. We are the world's greatest. Well, this world's greatest, anyway. <laughs> so now it's time for us to go and collect our, uh, our just reward. Alright, uh, how about you give me my money, though? That's not bad. Good stuff. So there's our money. And... I don't think there's anything else to say. Yep, nothing else. So, uh, we'll see you live in just a moment. Alrighty, we are back live. And, uh... I went ahead and I grabbed a couple frag grenades and a concussion grenade and a few med packs just because we used a lot of... A lot of resources while we were trying to, uh, trying to take out all those people uh, in the arena. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at Bendex Blaster here. I think it's basically the same as Karth's Blaster. Um, just, it's not Karth's, it's, uh, it's Bendex. <laughs> it's, our, it's ours now. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that. We're gonna actually put, uh, oh, actually, no, his, uh, yeah, he's all set, it looks like. So, do that, and... Let's go ahead and equip ourselves with Bendax Blaster now. I think it's a, maybe about the same, a little bit, maybe a little bit better than a blaster rifle. Um, hard to say for certain. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a little bit better. Bowcaster is still technically probably the best weapon we could be using right now, but it's it's Zalbars. We'll we'll let him keep it. We're gonna bring Mission. We're gonna bring Karth because uh, eventually we're going to. 
Eventually, we're going to go and save Basila. Probably not this episode, but huh? um, let's go ahead and level her up real quick, actually. Skills. We'll just kind of stay the course here. Oh, and... Can we upgrade any? No, okay. So we can't actually upgrade any of these. So we'll just have to save that skill point for next level. That's fine. Except. Oh, and she got improved scoundrels luck, I think. Improved scoundrels luck is a... Uh, I don't know if there's a way to look at her feats. I think there is. I don't remember how to do it exactly, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's an AC bonus, I believe. So that's actually, I mean, that's good what? for sure. Yes. All right. Let's head over this way and actually I want to talk to you because I think you have something I want. Oh. Um, what do you got for Achuta. Sale? Let's see here. Battle armor and all that good stuff. I don't really need that. He's got some grenades too, actually. A little bit more expensive than the uh, the other shop. Uh, yes, this is what I want. I want that uh, energy shield because we use a lot of our energy shields just trying to, um, again, survive in the arena. So there we go. That's that's gonna be everything that we need, I think. Uh, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and see if we can finish up the uh, the bounties and all that good stuff. Um, and to do that, I think, I don't know, I think we need to go and check out, we definitely need to go to some more apartments. I believe we, we want to go to the lower city, and there might be a guy in the upper city as well. We're, we're looking for, uh, I think it's Largo and Selvin, maybe, or Sembra, or... Uh, Sembra, I think Sembra is a new Overwatch character, so <laughs> don't think that's the one, but um, yeah, I think there's some apartments pretty close by in the upper city here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we'll go and check out these apartments real quick uh, just to see if either of those people are here, and then we'll go back down to, to the lower city and search there. All right, what do we got? We've got Sarna, and we got Largo. Okay, so this is one of the guys. What is up, my man? What... what do you want now? You're not going to tell Davik's bounty hunters where I'm hiding, are you? Hmm... Maybe I could, uh... kill you and collect the bounty? No, maybe I could help you with Davik. We are... sort of a murderer, but not really. Only a little bit. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zax in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since, but sooner or later someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Hmm. Tell you what, here's 200 credits, my friend. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? <sighs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Shut up, Carl. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. All right. Well, I mostly did that for the XP. We could have killed him. Would have gotten a dark side point, probably. Almost certainly. Um, I haven't really decided, you know, like, light side, dark side, as far... I mean, because it does matter. Um, as far or as... Far as um, so, uh, some the way some of our uh, abilities go eventually, but uh, but I don't know. I haven't really put too much thought into it specifically. I'm not really super duper worried about it. Now we need to go this way because we need to go to the lower city. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I'm just just playing it by ear without much thought to uh, to that because I'm not too super worried about optimizing that. I'm sure we'll make do one way or another. All right, so. That's the droid shop. We don't need to go in there. We just need to get to the elevator at this point. Listen to me, people. Oh, yeah, this fucking guy. I don't think we had a quest to do anything with that guy. I think uh, we'll just leave him be. This elevator is off limits. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, you nerd. Well, why didn't you just be you see me like a hundred times, man? <laughs> okay, apartments. We've got some apartments right here, actually. In these apartments, we have 
Let's see, I think, uh, based on what I've been seeing, her apartment will be, will be, uh, labeled, so I don't think she's in here. I think there are other apartments around here somewhere, though. Cantina, Beck Base, ah, there's apartments, and then to the Undercity. Okay. So we will go and check out this other, um, area of apartments real quick, just to see... If she's there, I expect that she probably is. Kind of got our asses whooped the first time we tried to fight her because we only had two people and we were a bit lower level. But now we have uh, an extra gun with us and a couple of our people, or maybe all of us even, are, are a bit higher level. So we uh, we think I think we probably have a pretty good chance this time. I'm not gonna worry about using our energy shield though. I'm gonna save that for something a little bit more difficult in the future, whatever that may be. We should have, we should have the ability to take care of this pretty handily. So, all right, save it up just in case. Let's go. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone, but I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Yep. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. So we are gonna collect the shit out of this bounty in about two seconds. I want her to just do those and Karth, of course. Do a bunch of those. Let's go. She, uh, yeah, she's gonna be in a bad way real soon. Ooh, she's attacking Karth, actually. Huh. Boom! And she's yeah. getting her sword out. <laughs> there you go. One sure. dead bounty hunter or assassin person. Yeah, either way. Loot the room. Let's see. We've got a scope, adrenal amplifier, and I think that's actually our first head item. I'll take that for sure. And in here we have not much. Not much, not much. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's take a look at what we got. What does this do? This is a... Little shocky. Uh, so this is a plus two will save. We'll take that for sure, for sure. Um, what is uh, this other one? Plus two reflex, and we have a plus two fortitude. I think we'll, we'll keep the fortitude on us. Um, he doesn't need a self-field generator. We'll give him the adrenal amplifier, because I think soldiers naturally uh, have sure. a little bit of a lower... Ready. Little bit of a lower reflex save anyway, so we'll use a med med kit what? just to uh top ourselves off a little bit here. Uh and the only thing left for us to do, I guess, is go holler at uh at Zax in the bounty office here in the uh, lower city cantina. Collect uh, all that sweet, sweet money. Okay. I think it will be this one on the right. Yes, okay. In we go. All right, where is, what's his name? On the left. All right, Zax. We have a, a lot of money to collect from you. All right, I got a bounty I want to collect on. Uh, let's do Bendak. Yeah, I want more. Ha! <laughs> Uh, I'm a little surprised that worked, but not gonna complain. Next bounty. Selvin. Uh, one more. <laughs> not feeling so generous. All right, all right. I'll be going now. 700 credits and 210 XP even. Not bad, not bad. I think uh, that'll do it for this episode though, because the only thing we have left to do at this point is, um, ooh, we've got to deal with the Ranker and the Sewers, possibly. We have to get into the Black Volker base and something about a droid, which I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll probably get to later. And uh, we don't ever want to talk to Karth because he's a big crybaby. So uh, 
So yeah, that'll do it for this episode. When we come back, uh, back to the sewers and uh, to the Black Vulgar's base, I guess. And hopefully uh, rescuing Bastila. So until next time, my name is Ben Rojo, and thanks for watching.